Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at motion detection with Arduino and Home Assistant using this mini uh, peer sensors so we could add actions in our projects based on a movement that we detect with the sensor. The sensor looks something like this where to connect it on the far right we connect it to positive and because there is a voltage regulator on this sensor at the back we need to supply it with a higher voltage than 3.3 volts so in my case i'm powering this from the 5 volt input uh, on the esp32 and on the far left we have the ground connection while in the middle we have the signal so the chip here will operate the peer sensor at the front and provide a stable output depending on the movement detected and on the ESP32, I have uh, the positive of the sensor connected to the 5 volts uh, coming from the USB. And the negative of the sensor is connected to ground, while the signal wire, so the middle pin, is connected to pin uh, 25 on the ESP32. And on pin 32, I have a resistor with an LED connected to ground, so we can visually see when we have the signal coming in from the movement sensor and we can visually see that it's been triggered so let's connect this up and uh, show you how it works but before doing that let me tell you about today's sponsor which is altium designer as someone who's always juggling electronic projects i found that altium designer is the perfect companion it's like having a pcb design assistant who is as intuitive as it is intelligent helping me zig through designs with precision whether it's schematic capture or laying out a board but the game changer for me it's all about Altium 365. It is this incredible electronics development platform that Altium has seamlessly integrated. Whether your team is down the hall or across the globe, you can work together in real time. It's like being in the same room, even when you're not. And that's a lifesaver when it comes to beating those tight deadlines. Plus, there is something truly comforting about having all my data managed and sync within the cloud-based Altium 365 environment. It's secure, clear, and organized. I never have to second guess if I'm working on the latest version of a design, and with a direct line to components and supply chain info, it's like having an extra set of eyes to make sure everything is just right. If you're into PCB design and want to streamline your process, experience efficiency, and collaborate like a pro, you should definitely check out Altium Designer and get on the Altium 365 train too. Visit the link in the video description to get a free trial and a 25% discount on any license. So here is the board running. Um, I have this uh, paper note hiding the sensor so it doesn't detect me from the behind. And we can see within the Arduino console, I'm outputting a string saying that nobody is being detected. So when I move my hand, up in front of the sensor we can see that the led now turns on and if we check the console on the arduino id we see that somebody's here so we know that we had detected a movement from the sensor and after a while that is being turned on and the status is being returned to nobody so if i move my hand again in front of the sensor it turns on and it turns on the led and again let us know in the code that somebody's here so we can make a decision and turn on lights or trigger, trigger different automations with it. Now, this one is running with the Arduino ID and it's running Arduino code that I can show you here. It's basically uh, within the setup function, I have the serial communication integrated and I have the two pins, the 25 and 32 sets uh, 25 as input and 32 as output and I'm turning both of them low and on each cycle uh, I'm checking to see the value of the tw uh, pin 25 where the sensor is connected if it's high then I'm knowing that somebody's here and I'm printing that on the serial console and I'm also turning on the LED and if the other condition is true if they there is a low signal then i'm saying that no, there is nobody detected and i'm turning off the led and that cycle repeats every second so we know to act upon detecting someone within the Arduino code now let's move to doing the same thing within uh, home assistant with esp home and here is now the 
same device but now it's being operated with the ESP home <clears throat> and you saw when the movement was detected then the LED turns on as well and if we go to the ESP home dashboard we can see that we have uh, I have this uh, device connected within my home assistant setup and we have the sensor which I named as peer sensor and it's now stated as clear you see the icon is as detected movement and if I wave my hand then it says that it's being detected and it stays on together with the LED for a certain amount of time and then it's being cleared. If we go and look at the code, we'll see that we have the uh, peer sensor defined as a binary sensor with a platform of GPIO, uh, again on pin 25 and the device class is stated as motion and I have another output for the LED this is not a switched output and that's why it's not shown here. Uh, so we cannot directly control it, but it's being controlled by the on press and on released events uh, automations that are on the GPIO peer sensor. So when the, the, the movement is detected, then we turn on the status LED, which is connected to pin 32 and on release of that movement, then we turn it off. So it works exactly the same as in the, as it worked in the Arduino, but now we can control the movement and react upon it based on the ESP home and the home assistant platform. And with that, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it interesting and that you managed to learn something. Definitely, I had a lot of fun playing with it. So I can now control basically anything based on any movement that happens within my house. And I'll think about how I can integrate that with uh, some interesting uh, automations. If you have any ideas, be sure to leave them down in the video comments and all of the code I'll have available on my website article that's linked in the uh, video description. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.